Resurrection Eggs, Scene 3, Take 4. Hello, my name is Alex Bell, and welcome to Weirder Things. The show that explores the strange, the unknown, and just the plain odd. My first guest tonight says that he has come up from very far away to deliver a message. Say hello to Flash Hannigan! Flash, thank you for being here. Hey, it's great to be here, Alex. In your century. Flash, you said that you'd come from very far away? Where exactly did you come from? Well, Alex, I was born and raised right here, but not in your time. Not in my time? Oh, that's right, Alex. I'm from the future. You mean you're a time traveler? That's right, Alex. And I've come from the future to deliver a message. A message? What could it be? Have you come to warn us of the danger of nuclear wars? Or to protect the environment? Or to prepare for an alien invasion? No, 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 no. Calm down there, Alex. There's no nuclear wars. The environment's fine. And the aliens were actually really easy to defeat. Well, that's good news. And so is this. Now that I am here in your century, I want to marry the woman of my dreams. You do? Oh, I first saw her on what people of your century call a television show. And I fell in love with her. And when I found out what time she was in, I had to come and find her. She's my soulmate, and now we can be together. Wow, what an amazing profession of love. Yes, Alex. It was love that drove me to leave my friends and family. Love that drove me through the excruciating pain of time travel. You mean time travel's painful? Oh, yeah. It really hurts, Alex. Especially in my sinuses. So, who is she? Who is the soulmate that you sacrificed everything for? Well, she's an actress. A TV star. Her name is... Meghan Markle. Uh-oh. Did you say Meghan Markle? Oh, I sure did. Flash, I hate to tell you this, but... What? She just got married. What? What? Married when? About a year ago. Are you sure? Oh, yes. It was all over TV. Well, who's this fellow that she married? Who's this unworthy slob whose bride I must steal? You mean Prince Harry? Prince? She married a prince? She did. She married right into the royal family. Oh, man. That's just not fair. I'm out of here. Poor guy. I'm really sorry, Flash. Anyway, let's go on to our next guest. He's becoming a regular on Weirder Things, and his chickens have been helping all of us rediscover the story of Easter. Please welcome back Ernie Portnoy! Ernie, welcome back to the show. This is becoming a habit, you and me. Did you know that they even gave you my own coffee mug backstage? I did. It was my idea. Well, aren't you kind? So, what did you find in the eggs this week? Well, who said I found anything in my eggs? Ernie, we all know what's going on in that crazy chicken coop of yours. Well, would that be the disco parties or the eggs with weird things inside? Wait, you never mentioned any disco parties. Well, I made it up. This is only strange eggs with strange things inside. So, what did the girls leave for you this week? Well, let's start with Betsy. She laid a crown of thorns. Oh my, that looks scary. And then Cindy laid this egg here, and I found a little metal shape inside. Interesting. And then there's this egg that Snowflake laid with a very dangerous spear inside. Hmm, that does look dangerous for a Lego person. I'm just glad the egg didn't break when Snowflake was laying it. This thing must have hurt the poor girl. Well, Ernie, here's the big question. Do you know what all of it means? As a matter of fact, I do. You do? I did my homework this time, Alex. I've read the Bible. What did you find? Well, you remember how Jesus obeyed his Heavenly Father and came to save us from our sins? I do. Well, these three items, they all remind us of bad things that Jesus suffered to free us from sin. This little cloud of thorns, boy, that's sharp. 
They made him wear a crown of thorns just like this. It was humiliating and painful. It was terrible. Then they took him to a place called the Skull, and they nailed him to a cross. It looked just like this one, but only bigger. I know all about the cross. It was the cruelest way for putting someone to death. It's a horrible way to die. Jesus died after only three hours on the cross. Then a soldier took a spear just like this one, only again, much bigger, and he stabbed Jesus in the side to be sure he was dead. Jesus suffered a lot for us. His love has no boundaries, and he is willing to endure all the shame and pain of the cross for us. It's a sad, sad story. It is a sad moment in a much bigger story with a very happy ending. It is? What happens next? Do you know? I think we'll wait for your chickens to tell us the last part. I have a feeling that they're not quite done yet. Well, they better get done soon. I'm dying for an omelet. We'll see you next time on Weirder Things. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, for the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. The centurion, seeing what had happened, praised God and said, Surely this was a righteous man.